Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Tattoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Dex Virals in Figma. But before we start, hurry up and check out Lady Silver just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to start using Virals in Figma, what we need to do first is we need to add our variables. So in this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to actually select on the empty spaces that we have here. And you want to go to the design at the top right here. You want to go to vocal variables. So let's go and click on the filter icon to see here. Now, as you can see, I already have one variable here, but we want to add a text variable. Let's go and click on create variable here. And we want to choose string since we want to use text. So string and text is kind of the same here, but we'll be using string. Now from here, we want to say this is going to be content. Now in this case, uh, you could go ahead and choose our string value here. Like for example, I want to say this is the replacement value. Now from here, we want to actually uh, set this as is. You could add a description on it and even the mode one value, but in this case, we are good for now. And the use of text, or in this case variables, is you can actually use it or link this to specific uh, text in our asset. Now, for example, uh, let's go and select our text here. So this is the text I have right now. We go to the right side here. We have our design. You want to go to the text section here. And as you can see, there's a setting icon here. There's an option that says apply variable. Let's go ahead and click on it. And you want to add your variable. So whenever we click or link this, as you can see, it will actually replace the actual value and use that as a means of uh, using that specific value. Which in this case, that would actually uh, use that value and it is a great way for you to uh, make your content a bit more dy dynamic, if you know. So yeah. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and uh, use this as you would, but there's also all the ways on, on using this. So I'm going to unlink this. So I want to actually uh, revert this or revert the value to the first one. And I want to actually go to prototype here. And I want to actually add a interaction. So I could actually use the option that says, uh, let, me, let me just say this is going to be uh, the press me button here. So whenever this one is pressed, it's going to change the value for this one. So let's go and choose this one, add an interaction. So on click, we want to actually set the variable but for you to fully utilize uh, variables here, we want you want to actually uh, basically use the professional version of Figma here. So yeah, if you want to really use it, you need to have the professional uh, professional plan here. But if you do already have it, you can go ahead and choose the option here for set variable, and that would actually allows you to set what is the what is the value, what variable you want to change, and uh, into what variable you want to change to. So if that's the case, I recommend you to add another variable here. So in this case, add another variable. Let's go ahead and go to our design here. Go to local variables and add another variable here. And you can set that, uh, set that as the two variables that you want to change to. Like for example, uh, whenever uh, this is pressed, you could change the text here from one variable to another by going to prototype here, add an interaction for that. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.